horizontal monitors or vertical monitor setup? Which one is better for you? I've used both setups extensively, so I think I can give you an answer. You see, this is a question that has been asked for generations. Like when there are two good things, one versus another, why not choose both? No, I'm serious. Like why not choose both setups? Because each has its own distinct advantages. Obviously, a landscape setup on a monitor is commonly used because most content online is landscape. Like if you're watching a movie or multitasking between two or more windows, having a horizontal setup makes more sense. But those vertical monitors are pretty awesome for scrolling long lists or reading long articles. For my kind of work, which mostly involves writing content and reading content, vertical setups are beneficial. I've used it for like two, three months straight. But really, as I said, why not get both when you can get a monitor arm like this? I mean, this is basically the star of this video. Like this arm allows me to swivel, tilt and orient my monitor in any way I like. Once you have the right orientation, it's just a matter of changing the settings in your operating system. You don't have to have a fancy chip or a, you know, a accelerometer built in that can detect the orientation of your screen like one of those expensive Apple monitor has. Sure, it may be handy, but like it literally takes two clicks in the settings. Why do you need such an expensive monitor for that? This monitor arm isn't expensive either. You can pair it with any giant monitor. Most of them easily support up to 27 inches. I think that's good enough for most desk setups. You know, 27 inches already pretty big. And this is also kind of a follow-up video to this monitor arm setup that I made, I think about a year ago. Some of you are asking on that video, you know, now that it has been a long time, is it still working fine? Yeah, it is. I set it up once and never touched it. No settings, no maintenance. It's working fine every single day. And this monitor is on the limit of what this arm can do. You know, 27 inch is the limit and I'm exactly using the same monitor and it's fine. It, it doesn't really wobble too much. You can see it's easy to pan and tilt. You can easily increase and decrease the height. That's one advantage you won't get with like a typical stand. You know, these there are stands that support a tilt and swivel function, but they do have a stand that's always on the table, which takes up a lot of space. A gasket mounted arm like this doesn't take too much space and is far away from you. So you can keep something directly underneath your monitor. So that's great for either tiny desk setups or for setups like this, where you have a lot of stuff on the table. For a very affordable cost, you get monitor arms like these, which have cable management, good build quality, really strong hinges that basically allow you to have any orientation you like. So yeah, just get them. It doesn't even have to be a permanent setup. As I mentioned, most of these come with a, you know, a gasket mount setup, which you can tighten and loosen when you want. So if down the line you're upgrading your table or something, you can easily move it later on. All you need is a monitor that has a VESA mount on the back. So when you're purchasing a monitor, try and make sure it has wall mount support or VESA mount support. There are two kinds of VESA mount, but you should be fine because most monitor arms support both the small and the big variety. So there you have it. Landscape mode versus portrait mode. Which one's better? Both is good. We live in an age of abundance. We don't have to choose between every single thing. If both are good, then have an amenity that allows you to enjoy them, especially when it's available at good quality and reasonable prices. So if you're wondering which one I'm using, I'll leave the link in the description. There are better versions as well with dual monitor support. So I'll link those as well in the description if you have a dual monitor system. But yeah, that about does it. Let me know what kind of setup you use on a daily basis.